What's up, people? I am back for another video, and today we're going to be roasting the mean one, which is supposed to be a horror parody of, like, basically the take of The Grinch. That was what, uh, you know, drew me in. I was like, oh, this, this could be funny. I was hoping this was just going to be, like, a dumb, fun, schlocky horror film. I wasn't expecting it to be good, like, objectively, anyway. I was just hoping it was going to be dumb fun, you know, about, oh, it's going to be a horror take on The Grinch. It was bad. I think the biggest problem is a couple big ones, but I think the this biggest and the biggest crime above all is it is boring. There are just points where I'm just when I was watching this, so I watched the theater the first time, and then I finished. I to be fair, I watched it uh, again on a. I sailed the seas, as they say, and the problem with it was, it, it's just so boring, man. It. The, there's just points where I'm just just sitting there. It, it's so, like, how you can make something like this boring? Like, be, I mean, I knew it was going to be bad. Like, obviously the acting was going to be bad. The act from the trailer, I could tell. So I wasn't, so I, when I was going to review this, I didn't plan on even really mentioning that. Because, like, of course the acting's going to be fucking shit. But at least be entertaining. And it just wasn't. And they have the actor who played, um, David um, Howard Thornton, he played Art, he plays Art the Clown in the Terrifier movies. And I, this is the biggest, other biggest problem with the movie. They told him, I wouldn't be surprised, this is my theory, they probably told him to just basically play the Grinch, like, they, even though they don't call him the Grinch in this, I'm thinking it's a licensing thing, so they just call him the mean one the whole time, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna call him the Grinch, just for all intents and purposes. They probably told him to play it like, like, the, like terrifying, like more like art. And it's stupid. It's like the Grinch has like one of the best things about like the the Jim Carrey version is the is his fucking puns and his wittiness, and you don't have that in this. He could have been like obviously not going to be on the same level, but one of the things for some people that make that made the really dog shit later nightmare movies work for them is that Robert England at least plays Freddy charismatically, even if it's not the greatest. Like, I don't love, I hate Freddy's Dead, but Freddy, Robert England carries that movie. It, it, but that doesn't happen here. When you don't have, like, at least if you had the Grinch have some good one-liners, that might have, I'm not going to say meant necessarily save the movie, but you could have at least had a semi-entertaining movie because the Grinch has some funny one-liners. Jack Frost was entertaining, because Jack Frost has some good lines. Some of the really bad Leprechaun movies, especially the Hood ones, work because Warwick Davis is charismatic. He he carried those movies because how funny he was. If they at least let the Grinch be that in this, it, it could have worked. But they didn't. They just decided, you know what, play him like art because reasons. So all he does is kind of roar like... So it's like, is he a fucking Yeti? Like, so he doesn't talk, even though one of the best things about the... I'm going to compare this one to it a lot. The, the the Jim Carrey one. The Jim Carrey Grinch work was how charismatic he played it. I was kind of hoping this was going to be like that, but a horror version, but no. They went with this, like, revenge story that, like, he killed her mom, and so she comes back to Whoville... After that, like after twenty years, because she wants to, she because her therapist thinks she should face her fears, and basically, her dad gets killed. So she basically ends up, at some point in the film, deciding, you know what, I'm gonna confront the Grinch and I want to get revenge. So basically, she now all of this they go. She goes through basically like a Sarah Connor. Or an attempt at it, obviously, because it's nowhere near that level. But, it, yeah, it's bad. And then the other characters in the film, you have um, Officer Burke, who's he's basically like the love interest. Um, and all he all he does in this movie is reference is that he's, that he's Jewish constantly. Like, he makes constant Hanukkah references. Like, a million of them. It is like, okay, we get it. Like, okay, you, so they just didn't write any other characteristic about him besides he has to mention Hanukkah all the time. And then you have Sheriff Hooper, 
who he's the main sheriff of the town that his arc is he thinks Cindy Lou is crazy, but then you actually get the reveal that he actually knew that the Grinch was a thing the whole time, and then in that there's this whole conspiracy, and I'll go more into that when I go into the plot. It's just... The decision to have the Grinch not talk really bothered me. And I was when I was just watching this the whole time, I'm like, wait, why is he not saying anything? Wait, where's the dialogue? Why is the Grinch not talking? And then I'm like, oh my god, they really went with the... They told him to, they told David, like, don't get me wrong, David Howard Thornton did a really good job as Art the Clown. He plays him creepy as fuck. But that was not, the, that's not the right call for this. The Grinch, if he had some puns, could have, like I said, made this movie somewhat entertaining. Because he at least got a character, a charismatic actor playing a good horror villain. But you don't have that in this. He's just roars. So it's like he, they, I guess they decide we're going to make him a literal monster. The, the kills are okay, I, I guess, if I had to say one positive. I, there's a scene like where he kills like a bunch of Santas at a diner. Like, that was kind of cool. But that was about it. Um, the characters are pretty shit. You had like a drunk character. I did like the narrate. Okay, so another positive. I really like that they try to have like the narrator like in the story. That definitely, for me, he definitely kind of held it together somewhat. The narrator, but aside from him, Cindy didn't do it for me. You had this Doc character who basically is this drunk guy. He's like he's like the only one, the other guy. Sorry about the fucking play. He's the only other guy that knows the Grinch is a thing. So that's, but that's it. And then his wife died. But it's a terrible movie. It's, it's not even like a fun, bad movie. That's what I was kind of hoping. Like, okay, I can, you know, get high and drunk and watch this, you know, and I can laugh at it. That's what I was hoping this was going to be. And it just wasn't that. So now I'm even worried about the, the pick, the, the Winnie the Pooh movie. That's what I was trying to say. I'm even worried about that now. Because it's like, is that going to be that? Because what they should have did with this, it should have just been like the the, the 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 original Grinch story, but as a horror movie. And maybe keep Cindy Lou as a little girl. I think that actually would have been a more interesting thing. Maybe even do it kind of like Chucky, where maybe she's the only one that sees the Grinch. And then eventually he chases her in the end. No, they, they had to do this weird revenge story and oh my god the ending i'm gonna get to it and i'm probably gonna spoil it because <laughs> if you know you'll know they literally did the last of us 2 ending pretty much i'm gonna call it what it is that's what that ending is so i might call that vi this video that the last of us 2 ending so anyway but let me get ready cheers and i'll go then we'll start the review <laughs> so he's, he opens up we see a young Cindy Lou coming down the stairs sees a green like a the Grinch house <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be like the original story stealing presents but she walks up to him you know because she takes Santa He's like playful with her, but then her mom walks in. <coughs> you know, just sees this guy breaking it, <coughs> broke in, <coughs> confronts the Grinch, and the Grinch kills her, and she freaks out. And then I guess we time jump twenty years later. <coughs> we see a grown-up Cindy Lou, who Christine Christy Martin, I think I'm looking. That's who played her. <coughs> I don't think she played it really well at all, but. But it's not like I was expecting the acting to be good. I mean, this is a poor parody of the, the Grinch. So it's not like I'm expecting the acting to be great. <clears throat> but but just, I didn't like this whole weird, we're going to have her <clears throat> want to get revenge. So she comes back to town, to Whoville, which 
Whoville, they did a terrible job. I don't know if they just didn't have the budget to actually do like the crazy designs like in the movie, like the the, the the one we just reviewed on Friday. I don't know if they just didn't have the budget for that. So they just made it this it just looks like some shitty small town. And I like I get the idea. Because basically the premise is the Grinch is triggered basically by any anything Christmas. That's why who though there's no Christmas lights or presents or n decorations none of that i like that i, I guess if I, that idea could have been interesting but then so like these um this party comes in and it's a whole separate thing and i think that's the other problem i'm having this has always been like it's a big pet peeve of mine a lot bad slashers the kill should somewhat be connected to the main character when it's just just bunch of random people getting killed that are not connected to the random the lead, it's weird to me, because it's like okay, don't wrong. I like seeing people get killed, but I also think the kill should tie to the character. Like that's why I like Scream. I'm not you know, that's a big great example, but like Scream, what made that work? With the kills are all connected. Halloween, the original. What made those work is the kills are tied to the original character. In this, a lot of the characters that get killed, minus like her mom and her dad. I'll spoil that. Yeah, her dad gets killed. There's no none of the characters really have any like he kills like a bunch of Santas. Which I'm wrong. Probably the best scene in the movie. Like I thought he probably David played the the Grinch the best here in this scene. He was whimsical. At least he tried to be granted with no dialogue. But it would have been way more like that scene would have been more fucking hilarious if he, had, he was if he had some good zingers, like Chucky. What makes some of the bad Chuck? Grant, I don't think there's been a lot of bad Chucky films, but some of the more questionable Chucky films work is because Ch really see to Chucky is that you know Brad Dourif plays it so fucking great. They they if they had just let David have some actual dialogue, this could have worked, but he's just kind of silent and roaring. It's weird. Like, yeah, he plays it like a literal monster. I don't know why they went with that, but then it's like he's using weapons. If you're gonna have him do that, you should have just had him be silent like Michael Myers then, but not not roaring like a fucking literal fucking monster. Then it's like, okay, we're gonna have him be a monster, then I'm just use his hands. Like be like a Sasquatch. It's so stupid. I don't know why they played it like this, but anyway. So one night, um she uh, her dad Decided she her dad wanted to bring, you know, a holiday cheer back into town. So he bought a bunch of Christmas decorations and decorated the house, which lured the Grinch there. And while her while Cindy was outside, she sees her dad get killed by the Grinch. So this is where she sees him again. Tells Officer uh, Sheriff Hoover that, and he doesn't believe her, obviously, and doesn't believe her claims about a monster. And throughout the film, you see this mayor lady, uh, Mayor McBean. She's she's basically the asshole mayor who, I'll admit, she's kind of funny. Because all she does literally is just, she just passes out flyers and just be the pop. She plays the politician role well, but she sees Cindy as like a distraction, as like a potential threat to her candidacy. Because she's, oh, if this girl starts spreading shit about a killer Santa, and then I'll just spoil there's a big conspiracy that they end up finding out that there's this website which lures people to that mountain, which is supposed to be like the Grinch Mountain from the, like the original story. And it turns out that, sorry about that, that it turns out that the mayor and the sheriff are in on it because people kept getting killed after what happened with Cindy's mom which included Doc's wife. So because of that, they decided to come up with a scheme of doing this fake place where people could hike at so basically outsiders could get killed and so he could protect his own town. It, it was stupid. This weird old... I don't know what they were trying to do with this movie. It, anyway. But, yeah, that's all the sheriff does. He's trying to... He basically, I guess, gaslighting, if you use that word, gaslighting Cindy to think she's crazy, which, ugh, that, that's the other problem. 
th- there was just so many sections of the movie where it's just they're calling her crazy. It's like, okay, can we get a story going? Even like like semi getting a story going. I'm not saying it needs to be the best story, but just something. But it's like they went with this weird uh, anyway. So at this point in the film, Cindy manages to get help from Officer Burke, who all you know once again makes just a bunch of Hanukkah jokes. Ugh, just anyway, so he starts looking into like he finds like missing hikers like IDs and stuff, and then he learns about the plan. And this is at this point, Cindy meets Doc, who mentions that his wife. I'll admit Doc was kind of entertaining. He's basically the town drunk. That's essentially all his character is. And um, he um, basically mentions the mean one, which I'm guessing they don't want to call him the Grinch because licensing. So um, he ends up, uh, I think, I'll just jump ahead a bit. He ends up getting going in the slammer because he's driving drunk. Because, you know, he remember, he's remembering his wife. This is where Cindy starts learning how to use a gun. And we get this really bad montage. Which is supposed to basically... It's just this... Because Christy Martin, I looked up her up. She's a stunt woman. It's basically just her showing off her stunt skills. Basically showing, oh, I can hit a heavy bag and I can shoot a gun. That's really all this scene was. Okay. So... We get that sequence, and then she wants to confront the green... The, oh, I jumped ahead a bit, but... I'm gonna go back. There's a scene I missed where she witnesses a guy get attacked by the the the, the Grinch. And it, the problem is, once again, besides her dad, and I guess Doc does get killed by the Grinch, so the only two people, I guess three, that get killed are tied to her is her mom but her mom's like of a, a origin so i'm not really counting her so the characters throughout the film in that time really it's only three it's her dad and doc actually she's only two and i guess hooper the sheriff somewhat but it's like the rest of the characters that get killed are just kind of random so but she sees it but she doesn't. She gets a picture of the Grinch, but it's not like even Mayor McBean who gets killed. She's not. She's like the asshole. This is essentially the asshole of the film getting killed, or the bitch of the film getting killed. You know. Which I'll admit, some of the kills are cool. Like the scene, like I mentioned, where he killed like all the Santas at the diner. The that was kind of cool, even though the blood looked fake as shit, but. It, it was at least like okay that's one cool scene but a lot of the kills got ruined because he's not talking it's just if he at least had some good one liners it could have worked but the, uh, anyway so she decides to go confront she wants to confront the Grinch he tells Officer Berg that but so Officer Berg decides to go on his own and finds the Grinch's hideout which is just a cave essentially. And Doc tries to confront him. Confront him. So yeah, this is where Doc gets thrown in the slammer by Hooper. Burke learns about the plot with Mayor McBean and Sheriff Hooper. And yeah, so they, the whole conspiracy thing was stupid. I don't know what they were going for with this. And it didn't even really go anywhere. Because I'm trying to remember Greg, because I... I Actually, no, I did just watch it. I don't think she she even learns it. Cindy, she doesn't even learn about the, the whole plot. So what was the fucking point? If you're going to do it, I guess they wanted to have, like, because there's a moment later on where Hooper decides, you know, I am going to face the Grinch on my own. Because initially he put it off the problem and is, I'm just going to feed him random. So he decided to not do that. I guess they wanted to do, like, a fake-ass, like, fucking arc but it was stupid it's like it didn't lead to anything it's like it was yeah it didn't lead to anything it this whole bullshit conspiracy they should have just did a straight up a horror version of just the classic story 
It's all they really had to do. Take the classic story and just make a horror version of it. You know, this time the Grinch is not just stealing gifts. He's killing people. Just do that. And if you at least had him talk, my God, like, I know I'm just, I'm pointing that out a lot, but it's just, that is like such a, it's like the, I don't understand why they decided to go with that. It's like, I get it. They thought David did a really good job as art in Terrifier, but it's like, why would you have him play him like that in this? That was not a good decision. Anyway. So after finding out the plot, Burke decides he's going to confront the Grinch and um, Sarah and and Doc end up saving Sarah. Fucking sorry, fucking Cindy and uh, and Doc save save him because uh, Hooper decides he's gonna do a do a sacrifice. You know, before that, Mary McBean gets killed because a, a Christmas song plays, which I do like that a little bit that. The, the, the Grinch basically any kind of Christmas thing he gets triggered by and is attracted to and that's what brings him out so she gets killed but it's like a lot of the kills are just random but so yeah Doc and Doc and uh, Cindy save uh, Burke while Hooper dies it's basically they wanted to give Hooper his hero moment I guess but it's like I don't know. They could have did something else if they wanted to do that. The whole conspiracy thing that led to nowhere because it didn't. It doesn't add up to the story at, at this point anymore. So at this point in the film, we get obviously like a Home Alone scene, like scene where Cindy rings all the presents up with traps and weapons and stuff, and Doc's waiting outside with a sniper. So the Grinch arrives. He falls for the traps a little bit. But then... The Grinch also has powers, but they also don't really explain that at all. But, yeah, he shows up and he ends up killing Doc. And that's, like, the last kill of the film. And then he confronts Cindy. And Cindy has him down for the count, for the kill. And then all of a sudden, I guess we're getting a... We get a of another flashback of that night where we get a bigger perspective and it turns out that the Grinch accidentally killed her mom, which, okay. I don't understand what they were trying to do. Dude, this is what I mean, Last of Us 2 ending, because she decides I'm not going to kill him anymore and forgive him, and that is what causes him, that his heart, to go three sizes and it, it blows up. And then all of a sudden, the Grinch becomes, like, basically a fucking a town attraction. And she and Cindy gets with the officer and film. This film is dog shit. What? Why would they do The Last of Us 2 ending? It was... That was what I was thinking when, that, when they did that. I'm like, they really just pulled The Last of Us 2, bro. And that's what causes his heart to go three seconds. Bro. This was such a bad movie. How it was so boring. How you can just make a, a, a schlock film boring. Like, that is the biggest crime above all. This should have just been a fun film that I can get drunk and high and just sit back and have fun with. It should have been like a Velocipass. That's what I was hoping this was going to be. You know, a Velocipass. Like, I'm, I'm naming all these, like, films that are obviously objectively not good, but that are entertaining at least to watch. This wasn't that. This also, just the way it was shot and everything, this all this just feels like a, a short film that was longer than it needed to be. This should have just been, a at this point, a short film that somebody made. You know, if they of what they want to do with the Grinch film. Cut out an hour of this and make it like 30 minutes. This didn't need to be a whole film. If this is what it was going to be. This whole weird revenge angle was dumb. The whole cons town conspiracy thing went nowhere. I don't even think... Yeah, Cindy didn't even fucking learn about it. So what was the point of it? What was the point of that plot? Just what? So the the, the sheriff can have his hero moment? Ugh. I, I guess David um, Howard Thornton did a fine job as the Grinch. 
he at least tried, but when you don't, when he didn't give him any just dialogue, it just doesn't work. The kills are all just kind of randoms that don't lead to anything. Whoville, and I understand the reason they decided to take down the Christmas stuff, but they didn't even explore that. It's like they just kind of casually mention it and then just never address it again. And I guess towards the end, oh, the, the Grinch basically becomes an attraction and the Christmas is basically back in Whoville. But it's, even when it's the Christmas in Whoville, it's just a shitty small town. That's what this feels like to me. I don't know. I get it. They probably didn't have the budget to do a whole set like the Grinch movie, the Jim Carrey one. But God, man, this whole movie was bad. It was, I mean, to me, if this movie at least just was entertaining, I could probably even get over the set pieces because I can give you a pass about that. I don't even, I wasn't even going to, I didn't want to mention the bad acting because I knew going in the acting was going to be probably shit. Like at the end of the day, this is a fucking, it's a movie called The Mean One which is a horror parody of The Grinch. So, like, I wasn't expecting the act to be 10 out of 10 anyway. Or even fucking 5 out of 10, if I'm being honest. So it's like, I wasn't expecting good acting, but just, but everything else was so bad, I have to point it out now. You made it boring. The biggest crime of anything. And The Grinch not talking, at least if you had did that, maybe it wouldn't have been as fucking boring. And a lot of those kill scenes could have been potentially better if he was saying some fucking witty, funny lines. You know? I just think, I don't understand what they did, what they did with this, so. I just wanted to roast this really quick, granted. I feel like, like really quick, this video's probably gone a bit longer than I run it into, but whatever. But I just, I had to go in on this. So... Yeah, definitely a 1 out of 10. Never going to watch this again. I, I, I'm still going to watch the Winnie the Pooh movie, but I'm hoping that at least that was just entertaining. Granted, the trailer looked entertaining, but the trailer for this looked kind of entertaining too. So, but as usual, I am going to get going. Um, I'll talk uh, tomorrow. Top, I don't know what, I'm, I'm trying for 10, but if not 10, just top at least, it will definitely at least be 7 or 8 worst movies of 2022 so i got that going on tomorrow I, I, I'll, I'll spoil number one it's i mean i've been writing about this movie a lot halloween ends so that's my number one but we'll go into more there's a lot more on the list it's just this year was definitely there's definitely there's been some good movies so i can't wait to talk about that but that video will probably be on friday but yeah i just had to get this one out though tomorrow but as usual, talk to y'all tomorrow. And take one more hit. Peace out. But, uh, <coughs> as usual, <coughs> video tomorrow. <coughs> talk to y'all tomorrow. <coughs> <coughs>